your kitchen. <laughs> okay, uh, as part of our round robin in this first, uh, oh, that's my name. Oh. And as part of this round robin in the first half, <laughs> our guest today, I'll give you the introduction he, he deserves now. And he'll be doing, uh, finishing off with half an hour show uh, at the end of the afternoon. I met this young man probably about ooh, what, six years ago at the Midland Performance Poetry World Cup. He stayed in my house. And it's interesting, everyone that stays in my house ends up winning the Midland Performance Poetry World Cup, which is like the iron person event of performance poetry in this country because you've got to go through heats, semis, and the final. And the final is probably the highest standard you'll get of any performance uh, poetry competition in this country by quite a long way. Um, and there's $6,000 worth of prize money gets spread around. So it's a big one. This young man has won one of those. He kept coming back until he won it. Just watch his star rise as time went by. Coincidentally, he's also won two Queensland uh, Poetry Slam championships and was runner-up at the Sydney Theatre Company in the Australian Poetry Slam. And if he cared to enter instead of running those sorts of gigs these days, he would probably have one of those under his belt as well. All that said, no pressure, Scotty. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the microphone with a big round of applause, Scott Wings. All right. Thank you, Archie. <laughs> Does God look from above this ceiling of glass as I follow this path? I merely follow my heart. I got a kind of long story, so where do I start? It was a sunny little day. Made up of little sparks, yeah that'll do, and it's true Don't trust the rumours, lies are just truth with a wry sense of humour I was enjoying the sun, when who'd I see looming? It was that Jesus fella, or so I was assuming He seemed so desperate for a real friendship I said I don't know this well then, how are you gonna mend it? He said don't you have faith? I said I got endless it's not in you, I'm too independent And he wanted to walk and he wanted to pray And it got a bit awkward so I went on my way And I walked this narrow path of pleasure and pain Thinking how many more gods will I meet today So I was walking along this path And it was real nice, I left old weird bit Jesus behind It was pretty cool and it was, you know, it was fine it was, I think he was following me, I'm not sure But either way I was walking along and I saw another fella And I was like, who's that? And I was like, oh, old mate Muhammad And Muhammad was there and so See, if Jesus was weird, Muhammad was earnest, pleasant enough, not one for mass murder, just kind of self-important and a little self-servant, and he talked about God like he knew him in person, and he wanted to walk, I said I was happy to talk, but I don't remember, I was, okay, we'll talk, he said my whole perspective was warped, like white guilt wasn't enough, he was pissed I ate pork, bacon, fuck yeah, bacon and sausages, his words were ruthless, relentless, monotonous, and between him and Jesus, the shit was kind of ominous, to swallow it all, I'd need some preposterous lozenges, but overall the dude just seemed a little confused, so both the Quran and the Bible, Bible were being abused, see I was kind of amused, I'd always assumed people can't hear the truth when they hum their own tune, so I left old mate Muhammad behind, and I came out in this big field, this big field of like, uh, uh, like you know, bushes and shrubs and trees all around, and in this field there was just every single deity, every single fairy, every single magical creature and god you could ever imagine, I saw Buddha, he was kind of chilled, so I just left him, passed out beneath the Bodhi tree with a spliff on his chin. See, this is when he was thin, I don't know what he did. It must have been some great weed, the way the munchies had him. Left over a hole and saw the devil beneath, and he gave me a grin, teeth hidden in my sleep, and creeping through the woods, I saw pan and sheep, and canal, I swear he even tried to fuck me. Then the Greek gods and nymphs were sexing again, and why do Greek gods end up sexing everything? A leprechaun asked for cash, I said, well, it depends on what he said, we know where, where the rainbow ends, and John Smith was talking gibberish about being an Indian and holding on to sanity by a pinky finger width, and then they all bowed down and told me, stop, listen, there's your god up there, bro, in the television, and I looked up and there was like 1080p HD crystal clear cloud display and all the gods were like fighting over the remote and Jesus was like let's watch that Mel Gibson movie and Muhammad was like let's watch Game of Thrones and Buddha was like oh my kitchen rules and I was like I just want to watch Adventure Time and that was that's, that's the end of that story. Thank you. <laughs>